How's it going? This week has been pretty much the same as last week, so I've still been feeling very low and depressed much of the time and just still just can't really explain why I'm feeling this way. I just I guess it's just one of the common um effects of anxiety and depression is that I always feel really low and depressed a lot of the time for no real reason really. I just just unfortunately do and all I can do is just try my best to not despair too much and just try to do things I like doing or enjoy doing even if I'm not really enjoy doing them I still have to just try my best to do the things I like just to like keep my mind off the low mood and hopefully just lift up my mood you know so but as I said again it's pretty much the same as last week so mostly feeling low much of the time and depressed and although this past week I have gone out with my mum a lot more like my mum likes to go out walking at parks so I've decided to join her a bit more this time so we went for like walks around the park and I guess it does kind of lift my mood a little bit even though it's very exhausting for me but well, I guess it's still nice to like get out and about every now and then but um but yeah that, that's that's pretty much it for how I've been feeling as of other things I've been doing I've still been doing my room 8 book and I think that overall is still going slowly but smoothly so so I first drew out the final parts of drawings yep, so these are the final parts of drawings I think and what these are is to go for to make the main cover of the book and I think I've got the final concept and design of the book cover done like I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure if I'm going to make any more covers so I think for now this might be the final cover so yeah that's done and then after doing the final bits of drawing I continued rereading the chapters so this past week I've done up to chapters 1 all the way to chapter 7 and just rereading re it checking like spelling and errors and stuff and adding or taking away parts just like finalize it really um yep so that's that's what's been going on with my book so far i think overall i'm almost there so hopefully i can finish that sometime soon maybe um as for woodside i've still yet to hurt to hear from them like it's been three weeks since i last went to the appointment and they said they'll contact me in two weeks but now that's been three weeks like i don't know maybe they're just really busy and just can't get back to me that quick but yeah i'm still hoping out they'll contact me soon and hopefully i can start attending and meeting other people who share similar problems as me so yeah that's it for wood, the woodside area I think overall that's about it for this week like just mainly still the same as last week just still feeling really low and stuff uh, continuing my book going slowly but smoothly um, yeah just been trying to go out a bit more get some fresh air and stuff and yeah I think that's it about this week um, I guess I could say like I'm I'm still kind of comfort eating a lot though so late at night or just random times during the day I just I don't know I just feel the need to just eat something even though I'm not hungry I just just like eat to satisfy like an urge or something like to feel better but but after eating I feel worse inside so 
Yeah, it's just the effect of my depression, really. Just comfort eating. And I know I need to, like, not eat because it's not really healthy like that. But I just, there are just a lot of times where I just can't help it. Like, when I'm feeling really low, I just, I don't know, I just end up eating sometimes. And, yeah, so I'm still trying to rectify that and not eat so much and not like break out of that habit but still struggling and just kind of need help with it so but for now i just got to try and not not give in to my urges and stuff and i've still i've still got the headaches and dizziness for like because these are the first symptoms i had way back when i was 11 no when i was eight and I started getting headaches and dizziness that's when my mental health started and they've still just been really apparent and just makes me lose my sense of balance a lot of the time when I'm sitting or standing and then I just kind of feel lightheaded and just lose in touch with myself really and I've still got the really intensive voices in my head still telling me like negative things to like harm myself or harm others or become someone else just various negative things really so uh, I'm still taking my medication for it but there are times when it just kind of gets overwhelming really and it makes me exhausted a lot of time and sometimes I just end up sleeping a lot of times to like regain my energy but when I wake up I still feel tired so yeah no, that's just how it's always been for me now but what, ever since I started with mental health just been in this unhealthy cycle really but you know what I mean what I can do is just try my best to stay positive and not dwell on the uh, mental health and voices so much so yeah again i think that's about it for this week so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and remember always look forward keep hope alive and remember you're somebody